What's up, you guys? Happy Tuesday. We're back with the line across our screen. It must be the afternoon. So, how are you guys? Um, <laughs> so, we want to share with you guys today a little bit of the, uh, we talked about yesterday, that your health is in your hands and how, what does that mean? You know, what does that mean to you? Are you in good hands? Um, today, we want to talk about how do you interpret news, not news like you're watching the media. I mean, there could be some of that, but like when you hear something, how do you interpret it? What's Thanks, up, mate? mate? <laughs> um, how do you interpret it? Um, and what does that actually do for your reality and the outcome of what happens, right? So I'm going to let Brandon tell you the Michael Jordan story, and uh, we'll go from there. So we talked about this before, you guys. I think we've talked about a lot of things before at this point. But I think with a lot of this, you guys, is our interpretation and what things mean to us is ultimately what creates our experience, right? In order for us to change our experience is to ultimately be aware of what the meaning of we place and what we interpret on things, whether that's sensations, whether that's feelings, whether that's, um, you know, my interpretation of what somebody else does, whatever it may be, right? And so, um, you know, when we're talking about this subject, the first thing that honestly comes to my mind is like Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber <laughs> when he like pours his heart out to like the girl at the end and she's like, you know, is there, is there going to be a chance for us? And she's like, you know, one in a million, right? And he gets that like stupid look on his face of like, so you're saying there's a chance, <laughs> right? And like, of course, like you're like, what? Come on. Like, but at the same time, how many times like, you know, for all the people that I tend to admire and like do research on and everything else, most of them have been told kind of those same odds in like uh, on their way to aspiring the things that they want to create in their life, right? Like you can go back to basically anyone that has come up um, to any sort of fame or accomplishment and most more times than not is they have like their storyline of like they were told like there's no shot in hell that they were going to be able to accomplish the things that they were going to accomplish, right? And so what brought about this conversation today is, you know, we've, we've the last couple of days, I mean, I think this whole episode of what we've been going through has brought about a lot of different stories, a lot of bit, of, a lot of different interpretations, a lot of different things that um, are showing up for a lot of people that they may have not even known about because, you know, up until this point, they may not have uh, faced this amount of uncertainty before in their life. Right. And so what brought this up today was, you know, we were talking to, um, a client regarding um, some, some tests and everything else going through. Um, and you know, the, the, um, the odds of the test that they were going, like, of course, when most of the times we're going through tests of like, what are the odds? What are the circumstances that could come out of these things? And, you know, like doctors doing their job oftentimes put things into statistical realms so we can interpret that and kind of wrap our head around, you know, the, the, um, the odds of certain things happening. Right. And so the odds of something that the, the information that they received was, you know, you have one in a thousand or one in a thousand chance that this could not go so well. Right. And like the result of that was like, Oh my God, that something could, the reaction of that was, Oh my God, something could really be detrimental on this. Like instead of hearing that, like the odds are really slim that something could go wrong here. The, the side of like, Oh, there's that one chance of a thousand that something could potentially happen wrong here. I'm not going to go down that route. Right. And like the reason why we feel this is important to talk about is because we are seeing that, right? Like we talked about a little bit yesterday, we saw about that coming up for some folks yesterday when it was talking about the potential of gyms being open, the potential of restaurants being open, whatever, all, all these things that are coming up to our normal uh, pre-COVID life reopening back up. And all of a sudden you st you're starting to see a little bit more of the panic mode of that's coming through for some people of like, well, the odds of this could potentially be there, even though nobody knows, or I don't know, or you don't know, but I don't know what I'm looking for and all these uncertain things, but I'm going to avoid these because I'd rather there being an aspect of fear and and all these stories that start playing out within this so you know when we were talking about that today is you know is the information that we get what side of it do you read, right? Like, because we all get information in our lives, right? Like when somebody tells you a story, when you read certain things, how you interpret that is going to dictate your experience surrounding that, right? Like how many times have you been, yet again, we're, when we're talking about state, right? Like how many times have you been in a disempowered state, an angry state, an emotional state or whatever, and somebody tells you like, oh, you look so beautiful, you're amazing, I love you, whatever, and your interpretation is that, yeah, but, right? Like, yeah, but that's not gonna be good. Yeah, but you don't you like you don't um, you don't receive that very well, right? Like it, it you don't receive that in the most empowering way that it could possibly be based off of what your state and based off of what your interpretation of that is. 
Well, and we're not saying like be super positive all the time, like whatever, but it's the law of attraction. Like you attract what you, the, what you are. Right. And so if instinctually you're like, okay, well one out of a thousand and you migrate to that one, you're like, what about the other 999? Right. And so I think what the biggest thing with this is what we talk about all the time is like create awareness around that. Like if that's happening in your life, we don't need to judge it. We don't need to try to push it away. We don't need to do any of those things, but you get to say, okay, well, if I do go that way and I go to the one, like, why is that showing up for me? Is it true? Is it real? Is it mine? Right? Our favorite three questions and then going, okay, does that serve me? How would that serve me? What is it? What good does it do me to say, well, I probably might be that one percent or it might be that one person or whatever. And like bring awareness to it and then go, okay, what is the situation feel like coming from a place of fear? And what would the scenario feel like coming from a place of love? Right? So a place of love is I am going to be amazing. This is the right thing to me. Having faith, right? Like the universe has my back. This is what I need to know. The doctors are amazing. I'm moving forward, right? Like the same thing when you start to go out in public. Like if you go in with like, oh my God, I think I'm going to get COVID and, and, and what, 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 like you're, you're going to show up in that state. And what if you're like, okay, I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm taking care of myself. Yes. Maybe we're taking the right precautions, but like leaning into fear will always lead to fear, right? Where you can say like, no, I'm going to have, I'm going to, I'm going to choose to to uh, see things go the way that I want them to go, right? Like we've talked about writing the story before, write the story in the way you want it to go. And if you catch yourself falling into that fear state a lot, just look at it and go, okay, is this serving me? Is this real? Is this what I want to have happen? And if it's not, then you need to choose again, right? We've talked about this before, like you have a choice. And if you make the choice that doesn't serve you, choose again, right? You always get the chance to choose again. And you get to analyze it and you get to go, okay, well, why is that my instinct? Why is that where I go there? Where did that come from? How do I shift that, right? It's like, you don't have to be stuck in those patterns. If that is where your mind goes, that that's beautiful knowledge, right? So that's knowledge, that's observation. And then you get to not judge that. And then you get to choose again. You get to decide what is the story? What is the way you want to feel? How do you want to show up? And how do you want to show up in that energy? Because when you do, it's going to go 100% better, right? You, you hear about this all the time, like people that have cancer right? The ones that are like, oh my gosh, it's going to kill me. I'm going to be dead in six weeks. They are right. And the ones that are like, I got this. I have faith. I'm going to do all the things I'm going to like, I'm going to be fine. Most of the time they are right. I mean, like it, it, law of attraction is real, you guys. And so leaning into that and observing it and going, okay, well, it, are these stories and these feelings and these reactions serving me and serving the best version of me? And if they're not, then choose again. Right. And so it's just, it's so simple, but pay attention to where you're at right now. Ask yourself those questions, sit down with some paper, get quiet, spend some time in meditation, and then answer those questions and be honest with yourself, right? Again, there's no judgment. You get to love what is so that you can accept it and then choose to move out of it. So when it comes to, you know, we talked yet again, we talked about this way back when, but you know, it's our state, but also it's being aware of two things, right? It's being aware of two things that we can do right now in this moment in time to change that, right? And so the first one, I'll have, a, I guess it's three, but the first obviously comes with acknowledgement and awareness of what you're feeling, what's your emotional state, what's going on in this moment in time. And then ask yourself, what am I focusing on right now, right? Like, where is your focus? Is your focus on disempowering things? Because you know what? More times than not, you guys, and it, it, I know oftentimes it's really hard to see certain things when it's really foggy, when we think it's like the world's ending, all we're in a bad position, all these kind of things, and we're coming from a place of disempowerment, we don't feel like we have any sense of say or control in certain things. But oftentimes by changing our focus by the questions that we ask ourselves, right? Like, what is good about this scenario? What can I do? What can what can I be what can I what can be good? What can I change about this scenario? How can I benefit from this scenario? Right? Like, what can we do right then and there, right? Like those three questions right now, like just me saying that lifts my energy up just even just kind of getting the ball rolling right and then next thing is what is your physiology right like I would imagine in these times right now like uh, life's just uh, life's, uh, life's so bad right like I'm, I'm slouched my chin's down I don't feel very good I don't feel like very energetic right like you know I mean just picture somebody that's walking down the street that you could just picture like man that person's hurting that person's just in a bad sense that person just needs somebody to lift them up right like instead of like wow you whereas opposed to you see that other person walking down the street like I don't know what it is about that person but they look like they can just fly and they could change the world right like they probably have their chin up their chest uh, or their chin up their shoulder 
shoulders back, their chin up, they're standing high, they're walking nice and tall, right? Like your physiology, just the simple 52 muscles in your face directs a lot of the sensations that is also um, uh, allowing you to experience the things that you're experiencing, right? So by simply just being aware of uh, what is your focus and your physiology can automatically change the direction of, of what you're, um, you're heading down. Yeah, and I think acknowledging the fear, right? Like you said, acknowledge the fear, love the fear, and then move through it, right? You don't have to be stuck in it. You don't have to choose to spin. You don't have to choose to believe those stories. And you don't need to push them away and you don't need to numb them, right? So you need to actually acknowledge them, bring awareness to them, love them, see what they're there to teach you, and then you need to move through them. So um, I think that was a lot of kind of what we talked about yesterday too. So uh, if you guys have questions, if this if this is um, not landing, not resonating, let us know what your questions are. If this is helping, we'd love to hear that. We know it's been like 56 episodes and we're starting to see it now like, it was like, okay, we're in the, we're in the, we're in the quarantine and now we're starting to come out of it. And so there was a ton of fear at the beginning of quarantine. And now I think there's starting to be more fear as we come out of it. So we're seeing, right? Like this is life. It's not a steady thing. It's this, this up and down. And so if you're starting to feel this and if you're feeling this this week of like some excitement and then some fear and some whatever, like lean into that and, and really go with it. And if you've missed some of our episodes, go back and listen to them. Like they, they, they went in pretty se sequential order. Um, so if that helps, um, let us know if you have questions, reach out. We love and appreciate you guys and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Good. Later.